All right, so I'm about to dye my hair blonde for the first time ever in my life. And to be 100% honest with you guys, I'm kind of nervous. The first thing I'm gonna do is comb out my hair. I feel like I'm equally excited as I am nervous right now. I think the most important thing to know while you're bleaching your hair is um, measurements and time frames. So the application process is super easy, but it's the measurements and the time frame. Um, and what I mean by time frame is how long you keep all these chemicals on your hair. Those are like, that's so important. And for me, it's even more important as a first timer. I'm sure if this was like my hundredth time, I'd probably do this in my sleep and not really measure too much, but it's my first time. I'm doing this on completely virgin hair. And what I mean by virgin hair is that there's absolutely no chemicals in my hair at all. Um, I wanna do this right. I wanna do this as close to right as possible. So as I said, measurements are important. So the first thing I'm going to do is add 2.5 ounces of this cream developer to my mixing bowl. And then I'm going to add this entire packet of the quick blue bleach powder into the mixing bowl and then I'm gonna stir it up. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so it is show time. I'm getting ready to mix the bleach and the developer together putting on my gloves first. This feels like so official. <laughs> it's kind of like this thick paste almost. All right, so here goes nothing. I'm gonna start the application process. I'm just gonna dip my application brush in this um, bleach and start applying it to my hair. So, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. sure to get all of your edges real real good because you don't want any black hair darker hair whatever color your hair is shining through along your edges so I'm going in and pressing down kind of firmly to make sure it's really really getting in there all right y'all I want to have a really good look at this um, since this is my first time doing this Ever. So I'm gonna go to my bathroom and do this in the mirror when I come back. All of this will be distributed evenly throughout my whole entire head. So wish me luck. I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> I've completely finished the application process and as you can see my hair is already lifting. So I'm going to use this shower cap, put this over my head just like that and cover up everything. So after I've let this process, I'm going to rinse it out and wash with this Shimmer Lights shampoo is for blonde and silver hair. The instructions say for virgin hair, you should only leave this on for 40 minutes, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And once I'm done, I'm gonna come back to you. First of all, you guys, <laughs> it's like five minutes later. But yo, can you see this? Like, I'm basically blonde already. Like, I still got 30 more minutes, but I'm blonde. I'm about to look like Cisco out here. Oh my gosh. This is madness. Look at this. Oh, yo, am I really blonde right now? Like, is this happening? Is, is this real life? Oh, I can't even deal. Okay, so I'm washing my hair right now and I wanted to come on camera really quick to show you guys that my hair texture has definitely changed. Like, my curls are not this loose. So, <laughs> the I guess everything that I've heard about chemically treating your hair like this and bleaching it can change your hair texture, it's 100% true. Because, yeah, my hair doesn't do this naturally. All right, so I've towel dried my hair and oh, Oh my gosh, guys. Wow. <laughs> wow. I, I literally have no words right now. This is so insane to me right now. Let me gain my composure right now because I'm just like, Whoa. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is tone the hair. 
And we're gonna do that using the Wella toner. Take this out of the box, like such. If I'm doing the whole bottle of this, which is 1.4 ounces, I'm going to need to use 2.8 ounces of this or basically three ounces of this. Let me find the thing and try to hold this still. After doing that, whoa, this has a strong smell. After doing that, I'm going to mix it up. From what I've seen about this is that this turns your hair purple. Um, and I will write on the video exactly why it's turning your hair purple. It's basically balancing out the colors so that you can get rid of this brassiness and get a brighter blonde. So yeah, I'm just gonna apply this to my hair, leave it on for 30 minutes, and then I'm going to wash it out. Okay, so my hair is now coated in the toner um, and it's turning this purple that I told you guys it would turn. So yeah, when I come back, my hair will be thoroughly washed and conditioned and you'll be able to see the final color after this whole extravaganza. Okay, naturally, so, so I went to the barber shop. I got my hair cut up in this beautiful cut. So the light is like shining up against my scalp, so I'm not sure if you can see the two parts that I got. I'm absolutely loving them. Side note, I will put all products and details to how I did this step-by-step -step in the description box. So if you just wanna be able to read it and see it for yourself, I will put step-by-step -step what I did, what products were used in the description box. So make sure you check the description box if you are planning on using this as kind of a guide to dye your own hair in the future. As I said earlier in this video, my texture has changed a lot. And I even heard an argument one time from a natural that if you chemically color your hair like I just did you're technically not natural anymore because there's chemicals basically completely changing the texture of your hair changing the curl pattern of your hair so that's not natural so I'm kind of sitting here like am I still natural right now or am I like a chemically treated is my hair just chemically treated right now what do you guys think let me know if you consider natural hair that has been dyed to still be natural or is it now chemically treated hair because as I said my pattern is different, how my hair feels is different, how my hair reacts to products is way different. And I heard this argument kind of like years ago and I kind of see why. Like this is essentially how my hair, or at least how my curl pattern would look if my hair was texturized, but it's just like that because I put the bleach in. Like that's it. I have a couple of updates. Um, as I said, my texture has changed. My hair is super, super dry, like ridiculously dry. I'm just kind of fascinated by how much bleaching my hair has completely altered <laughs> the structure of my hair, which I knew, like once again, all these things I knew before doing this, but you honestly don't really know some things until you actually personally experience it. And for me, this is a completely new experience, a new arena. So if you were thinking about bleaching your hair blonde for the first time, I would take all of these things into consideration. Just know that your hair is gonna come out not only a different color, but a completely different texture, and it's gonna respond to the products that you've used previously completely different from before. I do wanna let you guys know that last night, because my hair was so, so insanely dry. It felt like a pile of hay and it was just kind of trifling. So before I went to sleep, I put some shea moisture in my hair, then I put some shea butter in my hair, then I put more shea moisture in my hair, and then I put more shea butter in my hair until my hair was like kind of moist and not feeling really dry anymore. Then I put a shower cap on and then I put a do-rag on. You can put on a do-rag, a scarf to trap in all that heat so my hair could basically get a hot oil treatment and be moisturized throughout the night. So I slept in that. When I woke up, my hair was super moist still. I um, went immediately to the shower and I did a co-wash. If you're not familiar with what a co-wash is, that means you're not using a shampoo, you're just using conditioner. And that essentially is something that I always do, but I really, really wanted to do it today because 
my hair needs as much conditioning and love and TLC as it can possibly get right now. And so I conditioned it with the Care Care conditioning um, treatment for color treated hair in my hair this morning and that helps tremendously. It's like this really rich creamy texture and when I slather it on my hair it feels like amazing. It feels super soft, super pliable and then I did my usual wash and go. If you want to know what products I use for my wash and go, I will put the link to my wash and go tutorial in my description box and I will also list the products that I use for wash and go in the description box as well. So all the information that you could possibly need for this hairstyle is in the description box. So that's the end of the video, Naturalistas. Thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed, and I will catch you in the next one.